In this lesson, I'm going to go over some problems that I pulled from um, what you'll be working on in 10 marks. And we're going to look at how can I write and solve inequalities. So let's just go ahead and get started. If you'd like, you could actually um, pause, work out each example yourself, and then check to see how I work it out and compare your work with reflecting as to how you can improve or that, wow, I did it well. The first problem. Albert bought three rolls of masking tape that cost the same amount of money and an extension cord that cost five fifty. Albert spent less than ten dollars altogether. Which inequality can be used to find the cost of each roll of masking tape? So, three rolls of masking tape that cost the same amount of money, and then we're looking for the cost of each roll of masking tape, so we don't know that. So, I would say like M is going to equal your masking tape, and it's 3M, and an extension cord that cost 550, plus 550. So 3 times the price of masking tape, plus 550, says Albert spent less than, is going to be less than $10. So, <clears throat> which inequality? So you would first look for this, 3M plus 550 is less than 10 and I see that here. No, this says minus. Um, this says greater than. And this says minus and greater than. So those three are wrong. And I would choose this one. The other thing you might look is it might actually, you know, maybe take a step from here and you could do something like this. Minus 550. And you'd end up with $9. 100 minus 50 is 50. 9 minus 5 is 4, so you end up with 453 m equals maybe 450, you could see that, something like that. So it might, it might take steps to show you something different, just to try to trick you, but this is the equation you should get from the problem, or the inequality, not equation. Second problem, um, a little bit different. List all of the integer values of x that are part of the solution set for the following inequality. Negative 9 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to negative 7. I like to think of a number line for this one because it's not too many that we're going to have to list. Um, you'd have negative 9, and that would be included, So I'm going because it says or equal to. And then you have negative 8, and then you have negative 7, and that's the end of it. And that's also included, and it's equal to. And it's all the numbers in between. X is somewhere between there. So all it says, list the integer values. So that would be negative 9, comma, and you want to enter them just like this negative 8, comma, negative 7. And then you would be done, and you would have entered in the answer. And one more problem to go over. All right. <clears throat> Determine whether the graphs correctly represent the solution set of the inequality that it's paired with. So these ones might be a little hard to see. I'll zoom in. Basically, you're just going to check a box, yes or no, if it correctly represents it. So the first one I look at is x is less than two. Um, since I can actually write on here, I would go to two, and there should be a circle there, and it should not be filled in, and then less than means everything to the left of it, and that's exactly what's here. So yes, that one is correct. Slide over so we can see the no. All right. The next one, x is less than negative two. So I come here, and I see it should be a negative two, but I see it's a solid circle, and it shouldn't be a solid. It should be an open circle, and it's at positive two, not negative two, and then it should go this way. So this would be the correct graph. This is the wrong graph, so no. X is greater than 2. So here is 2. Um, it should be an open circle because it doesn't have equals 2. And it should be going to the right because it says greater than. And that's what's shaded in here. So yes. X is less than or equal to 2. So here's 2. I'm there. I'm filled in solid. So far, so good. And then less than goes left. Oh, it looks like the shaded in part's pointing to the right. So this one's pointing in the wrong direction. So this one is no. So you'd have two yeses and two noes, it looks like. And that is how you look at that problem. Again, in this video we talked about how can I write and solve inequalities, specifically focusing on some problems that you'll be working on in class, um, some similar problems to the ones you'll be working on in class with inequalities and different things you'll have to do with solving problems with them.